are you going to allow others who would stigmatize this illness define you? Are you going to let them suddenly be the ones telling your story? So it's back to the storytelling. Or are you going to be the narrator of the story? And if, if it's the latter, how is it going to go? What story are you going to tell? I looked at the history that I had been helping to document for all those years, and I looked for role models and people who have who had, had this journey before I did. And you know what did they do? And so I was very aware because I had already written about it, and now it was upon me to say, okay, do I really believe all that stuff that I know about heroism? You know, um, I looked at the, the first generation of gay men, AIDS, who in 1983 met in Denver um, at the, the National LGBT Health Conference, and they met there to craft a series of principles that were called the Denver Principles. And they were all about how they wanted to be treated by medical and other care providers and the role that they insisted on playing in decision making regarding their own care. And 1983 was a really dark time. Um, we barely found out that, well, I think we didn't find out until 1984 that um, HIV was the cause of AIDS, that, that connection was, was made. Um, that, that particular microbe was you know, causing that particular illness. And so 1983 was a pretty scary time. There was a lot of uncertainty about this illness. Um, but all we knew is that people who were diagnosed with it seemed to die pretty fast. So here, you had this group of gay men from New York and San Francisco who met together, and they said, you know, we are not victims. They said, we are not victims. With people with AIDS, that their humanity would be the thing that would define them, not their diagnosis. And so I had that awareness, you know, of the history of what I consider, uh, I call it the heroic legacy. In fact, part two of Stonewall Strong is called the heroic legacy, where I look at these moments in uh, gay history over the last hundred years through this lens of resilience rather than victimhood and how differently it looks when you reframe the story that way of what victimized people, traumatized people will do to survive and to, to thrive in spite of their oppression. And when you look at it that way, it, it's, it's really powerful.